So in the previous lecture, we actually saw the need for a framework. This framework is actually inspired from airline industry. You see, if you are flying in a plane, you want the plane to be safe. You want the planes servicing, planes, let's say everything which is done for, let's say, check up of the engine, check up of the gears, check up of the wheels, check up of the fuel, all these things you want to be perfect. The quality of the airplanes now is a lot better than it was before. And what changed is checklist. So there is a concept called as checklist manifesto, which is used not only in airline industry, but also in medical industry. So by simply adopting a approach of a checklist, even in Japan, the quality, the QA is, is raised to an extremely high quality simply by having essential things. So as long as we exist and check things under this framework, it actually helps us have a really high quality stuff. And that is exactly what we are doing now. Let's take a look in detail at the internal uh, workings of this seven stage framework. So the first stage in the framework is problem definition. Defining the exact problem you are trying to solve. Understanding the exact problem you are trying to solve. It might sound that, oh, why do you have to spend so much time on this when we already know what we are supposed to do? It is not like that. Having a precise definition helps us avoid problems which might come in future. So stage one is all about problem definition. Then comes stage number two, which is data collection. Now, stage number two is collecting data for the problem which has been defined. Here, there are two possibilities. The data might already be present or data you might need to collect it yourself. The details of this we'll see it in its individual lectures. Then comes stage three, data preparation. If you collected data in stage number two, great. If you didn't, you already have data which needs to be prepared so that we can actually do machine learning. So stage number one, define problem. Stage number two, collect the data for that problem or simply use the one which was uh, present and then preparing the data so that it is ready for machine learning. That's stage number three. Then comes stage number four, data visualization. You see, after you have prepared the data, you actually need to understand the data. What do I have? Is the data very messy or is the data very high quality? Is the data very, you know, full of errors or is the data kind of like very sparse wherein there are only empty values, but there is not much information. So visualization will allow me to understand what I have. So in Buddhist philosophy, the quote which says it is what it is to actually accept what it is, we have to actually see what it is. Similarly, in data visualization, it's the same thing. When we see our data, understand our data, that helps us do the next stage. So the next stage we have, which is ML modeling. When we start learning machine learning, people think, most people think that it is going to be the first thing we do. It is going to be the only thing we do. But look at this. It is number five. And before we can reach there, there are a lot of things which we have to go through until we can do stage number five. So you see in stage number four, when we visualize the data, we understand the data, which helps us do ML modeling. That is our stage number five. Now stage number six. So stage number six is feature engineering. So what is feature engineering? Feature engineering is understanding what is the problem we are trying to solve and what is the most effective feature to solve that problem. So understanding what is actually needed so that we can actually build a solution via ML modeling. We are not going to go into details of feature engineering now. We are going to look at feature engineering in very much detail for at its appropriate section. So to conclude the seven stage framework, the final stage is model deployment.
You might not be familiar with the word deployment, but let's just think. In stage number five, we actually create a ML model, which is the final model for usage. And in stage number seven, we actually use it in real life. This is the seven stage framework. In incremental way, we finalize the problem at stage number one, collect the data for that problem, then prepare the data so that we can actually uh, do machine learning. So data preparation is that. Then we have data visualization. And after data visualization, we do ML modeling. Then comes feature engineering and final thing, model deployment. So that is a quick overview of our entire seven stage. And then we will have a separate individual lectures for each of the stages going forward.